everybody, Nova here from GetPharmacyAdvice.com. Today I'm just going to talk a little bit about um, yeast infections in women with diabetes. Now, typically a yeast infection is easily treated with over-the-counter or, um, or with Diflucan, the one pill that you take and, and it, it takes care of it. Unfortunately, with women with diabetes, they're more likely to get a yeast infection with a different kind of yeast. Um, it's not the typical yeast that the average woman would get. So quite often, Diflucan or the over-the-counter will not actually work for them. So if you're a woman with diabetes with ongoing yeast infections that you just have issues with and they won't go away, most likely it's because you have one of the rare yeast infections. Um, really the best thing to use for this are boric acid suppositories. Uh, I'm not going to go too much into it because I do have an article about it, so I'll just link that over there. But what it is, is it's boric acid, just like you would use for cleaning. Um, you get a prescription for it, you take it to your pharmacy, and really what we do is we pack special capsules that will dissolve in the pH of the vagina with boric acid. Then you insert them in the vagina, um, usually nightly for about two weeks and that is your treatment. Now, women can use this um, for yeast infections that just you know, are recurrent and, and the regular drugs aren't fixing it and, and it's just not working, um, but it's more likely that women with diabetes will need this, like I said, because they get more of the funky yeast, not the typical yeast that you would get. So I think that's, um, I think it's good to know because it can be frustrating. I have many patients that just, you know, constantly taking the Diflucan over the counter, they try some antibacterial um, vaginal medications, and it just can be frustrating to live with. So I thought I'd put it out there um, just so you know if you have diabetes, you're more likely to need the boric acid. So go ahead up and read on that, talk to your doctor about it, and shoot me an email or leave a comment about it. All right, I'll take care, and I'll talk to you guys soon. Bye-bye.